autism and anxiety. Yeah, welcome back to the Edge game of Edge that probably doesn't help our reputation. Of uh, Edge, Edge, and Edge, Edgity. <laughs> yeah. Which I've never. We should just play fucking Shadow the Hedgehog and have true end towards good and evil. Like no one has ever told me our page sa- our channel sounded edgy until that day at that con. Because they fucking spent too much time on the internet. I mean, I've had people call me edgy, but not our channel. You know what's really edgy? The edge of a roller. <laughs> buh, 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 buh. Which I don't know, I find weird. And this is the internet, of course. So, I'm genuinely know. curious where the term edgy came from. I, I don't know. All I know is it's supposed to be like, you know, oh, uh, I have anxiety. He has autism. You know, we're, we're cool. We're unique. You know, oh, I'm a hard ass. I, I kill people. Blah, blah, blah. Sounds uh, like a I'm, term of endearment. I don't. Know, I don't get why people are always like, "Yeah, it's a bad well, thing." Yeah, it's kind of like. Well, it's like you're a tryhard. Uh, tryhard, no good. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I'm, I'm edgy. Um, cause I ain't a badass. I'm a tryhard. Yeah. It's like this and that, and mainly people call me edgy because you know I'm talking. You know, like I'll beat your fucking ass and et cetera, et cetera. And they they're like, oh, you're trying to be edgy, and I'm like, no, I'm being serious like if you give reason for ass kickery the ass kickery will arrive yeah like that's granted if we don't know who or where you are you're safe but yeah <laughs> like i mean that's where the edge comes in of sheer ignorance yeah but i'm like i'm not trying to damn anonymity of the internet be edgy I'm like i'm just saying like if my brother called me right now, which it's late as hell and he's probably asleep, but if someone called me, he called me right now and was like, oh, uh, someone's, he he wouldn't even be out right now. Okay, let's just say tomorrow. tomorrow let's say it's like 5, 5.30 p.m. <laughs> tomorrow, Eastern and, time. And he calls and he's like, oh, these guys are about to... Uh, fucking jump me, blah 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 blah, etc. etc. I'm gonna go Ryan over being there. 100% out of character. Like Ryan fucking calls mm. you up and he's like, hey nigga, yeah, these people <laughs> are trying to fucking, uh, like he starts talking like me. <laughs> it's like, Ryan, Shit. you finally learned. I'm so proud of you, boy. Right, <laughs> uh, yeah, he. And then he comes out and he's like, oh, these, you know, dudes are trying to jump me, which has happened before. Sure enough. And you and me rolled up there. God, that was such a waste of time. Yeah. Well, you know was, me. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna fight for no reason. No, oh, yeah. Which, once it got down to where we were about to start swinging, some bitch fucking called the cops. Yeah, that was fucking around the fun. Yeah, because I was like, I'm gonna... Hey, this time Ryan works there now, so yeah. the only one who's gonna call it. Funny thing is, one of, the, uh, one of the managers remembers that. Oh, that whole incident? Yeah. I didn't think anyone even saw it. Oh, well, yeah, one of the managers, uh, remember he walked out there, he said, is everything all right out here? And, we're, and I was instantly, like, I didn't even hesitate. I was like, yeah. And he went back inside. Oh, yeah, I think I talked to him, actually, but I don't remember what the fuck I said. Is that guy immortal? He's just kind of like, I'm not going to get shot God, today. He just missed. <laughs> it looked like it went straight through him, and he was yeah. just like, well, this is a fine mess I've gotten myself into. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> he fucking strut out of that bitch. Oh. Uh. Speaking of edgy bullshit, I know I sent you that text, but fucking Sonic does not have mocha frappuccino shakes anymore. At oh. all. Uh. Yeah. They don't uh. exist anymore. That, that's depressing. That was fucking infuriating. We went all that way. I waited like fucking an hour and a half. Like, Ryan was like, let's play a card game and go get a shake. And I'm like, okay, I'm down with that. I can go get me a mocha. And I'm like, he's like, well, Austin Block, man, I guess I'm stuck here forever. And shakes her out of the window. I'm like, no, I want a shake. And then Samantha, out of the bottom of her heart, love you for that one, was like, I'll get you a shake. And I was like, <laughs> so he's like fucking like I started playing Blind Guardian and shit in the car just to fuck with her, and also just I didn't feel like listening to her garbage ass music. 
not saying mine's any better. I was <laughs> like, you were just like praising her, and then you just immediately shit talk. It, she's not important to the story. Well, but that, and then we got all the way there, and then I was like, I was like, mocha frappuccino. And they're like, we don't have that. And I was like, and then I just had to be silent because I was, you know, that white hot seething rage that forms in the pit of your stomach mm -hmm. when you just know that there's nothing you can do but you're just so infuriated yeah that was how i felt towards sonic and still do <laughs> well i'm sorry but if we ever get a sponsorship from sonic you better have a goddamn mocha frappuccino shake that's the only thing that i ever liked from that store and it's gone Fuck Their, you, sonic. Uh, chicken was pretty good eh, really can... bad for your health but it was good I can get better chicken elsewhere. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I could definitely. Not, I could not get a mocha frappuccino. <laughs> that that was better yeah, elsewhere. That, that, that that's the thing. Y'all y'all done fucked up. And then I got a chocolate shake and it tastes like piss. Their uh, banana ones are pretty good. Yeah, but I was like, you know what? Chocolate's kind of close. I was wrong. I was horribly <laughs> wrong. It tasted like liquid shit. So I was just ugh. Curious to know how you know liquid shit tastes like. If you live for a thousand years, you learn everything <laughs> at some point. You you gain the curiosity to learn these after thousands of years of isolation. Anywho, fuck you, Sonic. Where's my damn sponsorship? At first, when you said Sonic, I was like, I thought you were about to start talking about like the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog and his chili dogs and mocha <laughs> frappuccinos. <laughs> Hey, I mean, dude, he'd put Jimmy John's out of business if he started selling fucking delivery. <laughs> oh my god, that new Helsinger Bridge, I cried. Oh, yeah. Like I, I told Ryan, like, when you get back, like, yeah, we have to I, fucking watch I sh that, I, sh dude. I showed it to him. Oh, I, 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 told, I was like, that was such a, like, that was worth the wait. Right. And then Ryan was like, where's episode eight? And <laughs> that was the first thing I said. Like, I was like, oh... Here's Helsing. Where's episode 8? You made me wait long enough. <laughs> Which I've had enough interactions with uh, Mr. Takahata101 and Chris Sito to a lesser extent through the streams and shit. That they know I'm fucking around, but mm. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> I'm not fucking around. This is a shout out to you bastards for, for keeping up with Persona this much. Kudos. And screw you guys for bashing Marie. They are completely justified in the reasons they do hate her, though. And the only reasons is she is unnecessary filler. And I can't argue with that. That's all she is. That just well, extends that game to I, I will agree. That is the point. But they uh, added that more for the lore to it. Yeah. Because uh, Persona Ultimax. Right. Uh, Arena or whatever. You know, the second one of the fighting game. Because mm. she's actually the god that's been controlling the weather. All right. So like she's canon, but no, I agree. They like I feel like they added her for a uh, well filler. Yeah. And then later on down the road, they were like, you know what? Let's you know let's make her an actual character but, instead yeah. of just Baka. I hate you. You're a pervert. Yeah. In all one word, which is really fucking obnoxious. Oh well, no, yeah. I she, hate her character. I'm starting to. Well, no, really she says am. that because she's saying it so fast. Yep. You know, they're talking, so you can't really hear. I know. Kind of like how he's probably talking right now, and they can't hear. Yeah. Damn it. Well, no, it was one of those, you can read it, and it's all, like, in one word. Well, no, that's, what, no, that that's what I'm saying. She's saying it. Fuck! And she's just saying it so Man. fast. She's like, fuck, stupid idiot. Blah, blah, blah. Like, that's how she's talking. She's just a worse version of Elizabeth, though. She's like, what's this yeah, world? No, not at all. He's like, I don't know anything about the real world. And then she has fucking poetry. And I was just like, you're fucking kidding. Oh, no, she's just like... Did they just take everything from older SMT games and slap them into one character? No, she's just a shy girl. That's literally just it. And then they wiped her memories from being god of Enobod. Enobod. Because Igor has the power to fuck with gods. Yeah. You do not fuck with Igor. Unless you want to die. And then be reborn as his bitch. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the worst part about it. You won't just die and that's that. That motherfucker will keep you. Yeah, I think like... You the, think his nose is that long for no reason? For nose reason. But Only then, the nose knows. 
I mean, like, I think the reason Welcome to the film. why, like, her memory was wiped and all that fun stuff was so you couldn't, uh, you know, ask her, like, hey, make it sunny all the time. Right. That, and I think she was under control by, uh, Iza Magoo. Yeah. Iza Magoo. Much and like Adachi was almost under somewhat controlled, kind yeah. of. That's unclear. Well, he was just kind of being manipulated without knowing he was being manipulated. Yeah. He seems like such a nice guy till he talks about murder. <laughs> I love Adachi, actually, as a, oh, as a dude, villain. And a is... lot of people hate him. I don't see why. Me like, neither. I will say that he is the closest thing to... I guess it's kind of a dick thing to say, but he's the closest thing to an SMT character Persona's had in a while. Like, he fits their fucking MO so goddamn well. Uh, it's like the thing uh, on the page I posted that one time. I was like, I feel like uh, re- like I-, I can relate to Adachi a lot. And I was like, not in the murder, you know, kill people kind of way. But, like, the, you know, the world sucks, fuck everything. Edge. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, and that one guy was like, well, he didn't say edge, but he's like, so you're a shitty villain? Right. And then you jumped in and tore his ass up. Oh, You were like, man. oh, what about this and blah, 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 and you said something about devil survivors, and he's like, hey, don't even talk about devil survivors. I was like, yep, he's... Devil like, summoner, but... Whatever. No, like, I'm not letting that one go. Fuck! <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's a true SMT fan. Mm-hmm. Well, once you start, give like, if they give you an opinion of, like, what how they feel like their character or game should be, and then you return that said favor, or, or said, like, opinion mm-hmm. that is different from theirs, and they're like, don't you even talk about it. It's like, nigga, you're the one who started talking about it. <laughs> Right? Like, that's the true SMT fan base, literally, in a nutshell. There are some good ones out there. Oh, no, uh, no. I mean, you and me are good. Right. God, we still need to play Nocturne. That is, like, the best. Hands down. Oh, Fucking yeah. Dante, for God's sakes, is in that game. <laughs> I can't get... I could never get over that. I know it's DMC too, Dante. I don't give a shit. He's an amazing character in that. That's where the whole... You know... I know you played a bit of two. You know that thing where he flips a fucking double-sided coin to decide how he does shit? Mm-hmm. It's from that. Mm-hmm. Like, he... Devil May Cry 2 Dante is an SMT character. And that's kind of why people were turned off by him, like, personality-wise, I think. Which, I, I can't blame anyone. Because especially when you play the first fucking Devil May Cry game, like, you do not expect that kind of character flip. Mm-hmm. It's understandable. But it, it's weird. It's it's all weird. So, whatever. Two didn't happen. No one cares anymore. That's the only <laughs> one that's not canon, so whatever. DMC DMC is more canon than two. And that's saying something. I like two and DMC. Yeah. I just feel like DMC took a weird approach to a lot of shit. Yeah. Which we've Don't already talked cry. about this. So. All right. So, anime. You know, this is. Don't get me wrong, killing innocent civilians makes me feel horrible. But this is like one of the things that made me feel extremely fucking terrible in this game. Alright. I'm sitting here killing, like, U.S. soldiers. Well, this guy's trying to start the goddamn apocalypse, so I don't think I, he gives a shit. Well, <laughs> well you know, like, I, I play games like how I will play them if, you know, they were me. Right. Like,. In role-playing games like Skyrim and Fallout, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But only if you were a woman. Well, I just play as a woman just because I'd rather look at a fine ass than a motherfucker who looks nothing like me. I tend to play as the monster characters because fuck it, giant lizard people. I actually did in Skyrim just because I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna try it. Yep. And then the ca- the gadget, the yeah. gadgets. Yeah, mm, they're cool. They are cool. They are desert cats. My favorite I being my the variant right that turns into a giant saber-toothed tiger during the moonlight. That tends to happen. Hmm. The Khajiits are weird. There are some that are house cats with magic powers that can't talk, but are more smart than you. That, 
makes no sense. What, that their species can become cats with magic powers and intelligence? But can't speak, but it's... Well, well I they're guess, incapable like, of speaking, oh, but... Oh, okay. Like, they're... If they could, they would, but... They use magic to communicate. Like, they can kind of communicate telepathically to other Khajiits. It's weird. Hmm, that's neat. Their whole species is powered by the moon. So, well, moons. There's two of them. You gotta be specific. God damn it. You gotta be specific. Specific. Please don't die, mate. Okay, thank you. But no, like, I really, like, feel horrible. I mean, like, I like game. Oh my god, fuck you, dude. <laughs> it's like, I like games. Is that a tank? I don't know. This is an armored ve vehicle, like, I was driving. Oh. Oh my god, I don't want to die again. <laughs> There are so many people. I know you oh, fuck! This part sucks. Da, 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 da. I like how that guy was just still shooting. He was like, I'm gonna make sure you're dead. Which I don't blame him. Yeah. This motherfucker is like impervious to bullets. Or er, resistant. He's resistant to bullets. It's so hard to keep the fucking gun. Er, it's like, I really need this. And all he wants is some C4. <laughs> I mean, he could just pop into Grand Theft Auto World and just go buy some. I mean, he's, do <laughs> he's doing the same shit that I'd normally do, is just fucking run up on a military base. Where's Trevor when you need him? This would make this so much easier. <laughs> he needs to learn how to do Trevor's fucking Canadian rage mode and, like, just fucking dominate. Like, get that unlimited. I mean, I told you, I was like, in when I get to military base, I have to play it safe. Yeah. When I, we took our little break, when I said smoke. Yeah. I was like, I have to play it safe here. It's, this is the hardest part in the game to me. Mm. Even harder the part that you have to murder the Dalai Lama in cold blood. That would suck. Poor Dalai Lama. I like the Lama Dollies. You know, that changes so much context. If you switch over from the Dalai Lama to the Lama Dalai, it's like a little plushy llama. Or then fucking... I can't think of what religion that is, but basically a... a pope of sorts. Somebody could correct me on that. I don't know much about that kind of culture. But... Me neither. I want a plushy version of the Lolly Dama. The Lolly Dama. God, that'd make things even weirder. Don't you mean the Dalai Lama? The... the... Dama Lolly. Dama Lolly. God, that texture. That was horrible. He knows. He's after the Lama... Da the... the legend of... The banana... I'm looking for the legendary banana people. Please calm down. You know what I saw recently? Just uh, a legendary have, banana. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> you know what? The legendary banana. You know what I saw? <laughs> that 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 was some timing and a half. Um, that that was great. Okay, continue. Cujo and the two strings. I yeah. was like, you know what? I, I mean, I didn't even like watch it, but I actually really, in I didn't go out of my way to watch it. I just happened to see it. But I actually really enjoyed it. It was a really good movie. I kept thinking it was like, you know, just one of those DreamWorks movies, but it was actually made by uh, the team that did, like, Coraline and Paranorman and all that shit, which I did not expect. Hmm. But fucking, yeah, I'll give it credit. It was a pretty solid-ass movie. Wait, you know about Coraline, like the one that everyone thought Tim Burton made? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's like, I love that movie. It's fucking uh, it's that it's that company that starts with an N, not a new shit. I don't remember what it's called, but I saw it in the opening credits and I've already forgotten. Yeah, I remember when that movie came out and everyone was like, "Yay, Tim Burton's making a new movie!" Blah blah blah. And then when everyone found out it wasn't Tim Burton, everyone was like, "I fucking hate this movie!" And blah 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 blah. And That's I, a solid ass movie. I was like, "Fuck you!" This is a solid. Yeah, I was yeah, like, like, "This movie solid." It's not. Fuck. It's not perfect. Yeah, no, no, I don't yeah, think no. any movie is, but yeah, it's no, good. Perfect. But yeah, Cujo and the Two Strings is like a fucking... It's that stop-motion animation they're known for with the fucking, like, 
Japanese samurai feel to it. It's really fucking cool. Like, it, I'm not going to go through a lot because that movie's kind of recent, but short version, this kid gets his eye cut out and then he has to go on a journey to get it back. Hmm. And just, like, save his mother. They're shit like it. You know, shit like that. Mm-hmm. But it was it was pretty damn good. I did not expect it, but it's kind of a... It's one of those kids' movies that makes you think. Ah, yeah. I love this. It's just a good... It's fucking... Anyone who thinks a kids' movie should be fucking mindless entertainment is an idiot. Exactly. This is why The Minions is so goddamn popular. Yep. People like you, you nondescript viewers who probably don't watch this, Fuck Probably you. don't even watch the Minions. Probably not. Like, I've always found the Minions to be, like, side joke characters. The Minions, like, I genuinely feel, could have been cut out of fucking all of the Despicable Me movies, and it wouldn't have cut like, I It wouldn't have changed a thing. I love... They were just there to sell plushies. I love Despicable Me. Oh, hell yeah. And the thing is, is I feel like... Well, yeah, they're there to... For... Fuck! Okay, I'm gonna get to a respawn, like at least get one respawn, and then we'll be back. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>